thing rings. It rings. Quentin, welcome. Hello. Hello, everybody. Paul here, Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. Quentin King, and uh, we're checking out a rain song today. Uh, cool thing about these guitars, okay, carbon fiber, right? Now, uh, we've been selling these for quite a while. We just haven't done a lot of videos on them, mm -hmm. so we're going to get dive into the lineup a lot more and kind of get into these more because a couple reasons why. First of all, a couple months ago, it was 20 below here, right? <laughs> we had probably 20 guitars come in with cracks, and so this guitar is just extremely weatherproof. There's resilient. no need. Resilient, resilient to Very temperature resilient. and, importantly out here, humidity fluctuations. Yes. Our guitars get destroyed out here with humidity, so dry in the winter. Um, where this is incredible for, you know, people, I mean, they leave, some people have a second home out here. They leave their guitar in their house. It's, it's a goner. And mm -hmm. um, these not only look beautiful, there's different versions. This one is particular is the 25 year anniversary. It's from the Black Ice series. You can see this one has a tint of kind of blue in it. Um, it's really cool looking. I mean, I, I, you know, like I said, this is not for everybody, but if you need a guitar that you can take to the Antarctica and then the next day maybe to head the down to the of beach of the uh, deserts of Utah. Yeah, to the desert, to the ocean. This guitar does <coughs> not fluctuate. It does right. not change. You don't have to do any setup on it. It won't. It doesn't move. Set it and forget it. Yep. And uh, you know they're 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 great looking guitars. So this company, Rain Song. Okay, this is their twenty. You know, obviously now, twenty five years. Twenty five years. Uh, you can see the shark inlay. Mm -hmm. I believe the story goes this: the gentleman who started this. I think there's his name in there. I think he has the same last name as me. John A. Decker Jr. Is that a junior? I don't know. Maybe. But anyways, he is from Hawaii, okay? Mm -hmm. He's at a wedding, he's doing a gig, and it starts raining. And he needed, he had the need for a guitar that could weather the rain, mm -hmm. and he started the company Rain Song. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard. No, it sounds good. But beautiful shark inlays, uh, it's kind of an orchestra model body shape. Uh, you can see the sound holes up here. It's got a really nice pickup in it, it's the LR Beggs Anthem. Uh, Anthem Pro, I believe it's called. Mm -hmm. It's got a yeah. dual. It's got the mic and the and the and the piezo. Yeah, uh, nice. You get the mix. It. Okay, I, I, I would yeah, like you'd like that. You do that in. same I kind do, of pickup yeah. on your guitar. I like the mix. You want yep. that mic to give you a true acoustic sound. Otherwise, it ends up sounding a bit like a Telecaster. Yeah. So it plays like you would expect. It's kind of a thin body. Yep. Um, I would say maybe like slightly wider in between the bouts OM kind of style yep. as far as thickness and whatnot. Very comfortable. Uh, the finish is, is uh, I, I don't know if you'd call it a finish, but right. the, the urethane coating that they right. put over the, whatever it is, uh, finish, I guess. I don't right. even know. I don't know what it is. Did you like the feel of it? It's, for, it? for me, like I've said before, I'm, I'm kind of a sweaty, uh -huh. greasy guy, so I get it's a little sticky mm -hmm. for me, but you know, a little powder or uh, fast fret or something, yeah. you know, some lard, bacon grease, yeah. grease it up there, and it'll be just fine. But it plays plays very well. Uh, the I wonder what's the do you know what the it nut is width? one and three quarter I one and three quarter, yeah. so it feels pretty standard. So you get the acoustic sound, yeah. right? And I think. My guess is, uh, just for the requesters that are out there, we we will be doing uh, kind of an amp review yeah. kind of comparison. I yep. think I'd like to use feature this one yeah, and maybe one. some tailors because yeah. what we said before is, you know, this sound that you're hearing now, the acoustic that's coming through this pencil mic, yeah. uh, what you're hearing through what you're listening at home with is going to be a little bit different than what we're hearing in the room. In the room, it's... It's not too brash. It's a little on yeah. the brighter side. There's not a lot of depth on it. But the great thing about these pickup systems, and particularly yeah. one that I'm excited to hear has the blender, yep. uh, my guess, my prediction is that we can get a pretty awesome sound out of this guitar, yeah. particularly for live performers who travel through different climates or play under different sure. environmental conditions. This would be... Well, that's the thing. I mean, if you're traveling all around, whatever, this thing, you plug it in, it's going to sound great every night. So it just... <coughs> it's, I was gonna say it's not, yeah. it's not that wood tone, but no. it's not a bad tone at all. It's actually mm. a really nice sounding guitar. It's got its own thing, yeah. but I mean, like I said, around here, it's 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 a must almost to have for a lot of the gigs we do here. Some of these are outdoors in the winter. I mean, it's it's 
It's a guitar that in another hundred years when we have, you know, space tourism, you know, you don't want to take your True. your vintage Gibsons. Uh, you want something that can, you know, space like a space travel. guitar. Exactly. Well, that's cool. Well, I'm glad we got to do this uh, Rain Song 25th yeah, no, anniversary it's, edition. It's pretty cool. It and is cool. I'll, I'll just say, you know, that I've, I've voiced my bias against... Uh, non-traditional colors yeah or and woods and, and woods yeah. and uh you know but i think at the end of the day uh what yeah. i really need is a tool that yeah. will deliver what i'm looking for as a player uh singer yeah. musician whatever um and i think that's that's this is this is focused to that right you know it's going to give you a very useful instrument for a variety of yeah. applications without the risk of totally Corrupting I can't the integrity tell of your you wooden instrument. Yeah. How many times people have needed this guitar? They come in here and they theirs is destroyed. And there's so many, you know, like I said, it depends on what part of the country you're in. But this is the highly, example. The highly reason I mentioned the Utah desert. So for the record, last week I was on spring break here with public schools and took the mm -hmm. family camping down in Utah, and I brought my CEO seven that we re right. recently featured, and I thought, oh, it'll be great, yeah. you know. I'll sit around the campfire and play at night uh, in a pr relatively protected space. Mm -hmm. And I never pulled it out of the case because the temperature differentials this time of year in the desert, while it was mid-70s during the day, at yeah. night it would drop in the 40s. Right. And I'm just like, so I don't want... Even, yeah. That's like, it's not worth it. This would have been the ultimate tool. Your hands would have been cold, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, know. that was the thing. You get close enough to the fire and you have that fish stick moment where you're frozen on this side of the guitar. Yeah. And this side's cooking because it's, yeah. you know, in the proximity of the heat. So It's anyway. a great guitar. A lot of uses. Yeah. Uh, love it. We're going to do more of them. And, uh, yeah, I'm we'll looking forward to hearing it through, through some amps. So cool. Stand, yeah, we'll do that too. Stand by for that. All right. Thanks, Quentin. You bet. Thanks, everybody.